Dewey, why are you being so greedy? I don't know. I just want to see Altair. Well, I'm sorry, Dewey. I know that I talked about Altair at the end of the last video, but this video, it's about getting the key, which is the Altair memory, okay? You get to go underground. I do believe you get to go underground. Are you looking at the thumbnails again? No. Dewey's looking at thumbnails. No, I just assumed from the last mission. Maybe he's it's looking at my thumb. And lightning. What's all thunder and lightning? Oh, yeah, I don't know where the heck he is right now. I don't know why it's all of a sudden raining outside. Well, it does that every once in a while. Um, I guess it does. It's just weird to, to see He's that. He's at the Maiden's Tower. Oh, that's right, Maiden's Tower. I, I knew that. Yeah. I mean... You're looking I, for a Mossy F key. That's right, in Maiden's Tower. So you can collect them all, and then the Templars come steal them, and then they take so, the... Now, the before gold. I go down there... I'm sorry, I cut you off there. I'm sorry, Dewey. I'm sorry about okay. it. I just want to check my surroundings, you know, see if there's anything, you know, secret to unlock or find. There's nothing there that, that I see. So let's do this thing. Ready, Dewey? Ready? I'm ready. We're going to go in there. We're going to find the next key. Got to finger that hole. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm just... J JK. JK. Instead of actually going down there, we're going to go... We're going to go right back into the room I was just in. <laughs> S silly me. Oh, silly. So you had that foresight. Yeah. Like my brain works in serious ways sometimes. I don't even know who I am. What fudge monkeys? Well, he's unlocking the, the door with this hidden blade. You've seen this before. I know, really? it's but just... it's like not actually a door. It's a fireplace, which is a hidden door. It's like a hidden blade. When I'm rich, do we? I'm gonna have a house or a castle, or something like that. Gonna have hidden rooms everywhere. So passageways. You hear, that, hear that, viewers? If you ever want to break into Raymond's house that's when right. he's rich and famous, that's right. Make sure to look for all the hidden places. You're never gonna be able to find them. I, I'll They're have only a map. gonna be known Cause... by me. Well, you have when, a map. When I, when I build Minister, you're gonna have a map. <laughs> that, that is a nerd dream. Okay. It's all not I a want. Dream, it's all reality. I want is Castle Loma. Okay. <laughs> Give me Castle Loma. If anybody knows what that is. Nerd. Put it in the put it in you the and, comment. You and your pilgrims. I don't know what you're talking about. I told them to put it in the comment. Don't ruin the comments. Castle Loma. Okay? It's a real place that exists in well, some, some country. Well, some will when I build this. <laughs> no, do you? Well, I won't build it personally. I'm gonna hire other people that do it for me. Oh. But I'm gonna do be we, the master you, architect. Is, are you gonna at least father. pay these people? Huh? Are you gonna at least pay these people? Somebody will. Jeez. Have the government do it for you. Well, I'm not going you're to gonna, personally. That's pay how you're them. gonna you're gonna support the economy by creating jobs. Yeah, for people. exactly. <laughs> See, I thought this through. <laughs> you're a racist. What? I don't know. How's that racist? I don't know. I just said I don't know. Provide jobs to everyone. Oh, not just white people. Uh, in fact, I'll probably go explore the uh, the minorities. Oh, so you're gonna hire people based on the color of their skin? No, I, you're I'm a just gonna, I'm gonna hire everyone. Everybody post in the comment, Dewey's a racist. <laughs> no, they're all gonna post it. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Dewey, I'm sure they loves you. Like a teddy bear or a yeah, kitten. Yeah, because I don't hate this game. So I don't that's hate where I'm this taking it. <laughs> I don't hate this game. I had my issues with this game. It was actually at this point of the game, with this mission, I started, you know, liking this game a little more because this felt a little more Assassin's Creed-esque more so than it, the game had up to this point uh, at the very least it was just like my skill is a little tested I've got to figure out my own path of how to get there you know it's a little bit time so I've got to be quick about it uh, you know it was like it was back to the Assassin's Creed that I was comfortable with like I've got so 47 seconds, I've got to figure out how to get there and not screw up while I do it. It's not just hold, you know, hold uh -huh. forward, right trigger, and A like I was complaining about before. It's, I mean, I screwed up there, but hopefully I can recoup my losses and still make, make it there in time. You know, and, and the, uh, I forgot to mention that the 100% the thing here is to not fall into water. And oh. let's hope that I can do that. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil it. No, I'm no gonna, spoilers. Not, spoilers are for kids who eat tricks. If if like he bunny if he does make it, everyone just clap and cheer at home. And buy me Casa Loma. Don't do that. Please. Because that's expensive. Pull your money together. You. you can Pull buy Casa Loma for me. I'm sure. You just write it off as like a tax write off or something. You know. You're buying Ray of the Media water. Cows Castle. 
But it didn't fall into the water. That's the thing. What if you fall into like a I boat? wanted what I was thinking of. Uh, who the heck built this stuff? Who's like? How did they get these massive chains? George Washington. To George Washington, <laughs> who went back in time. Well, he's that awesome. And he, <laughs> he built this stuff. In combination with the Velociraptors. Ah, uh, I see. I see. Da Vinci may have had a, a thing to say. No, no, in there. Da Vinci was from Assassin's Creed 2 in Brotherhood. Well, yeah, but he went in the future. Oh, that's right. He, did he met up machine. with George Washington. He did build the time machine. I forgot about that. Yeah, see? See, I know what I'm talking about. All right, I, you know, I, I forget. I'm a forgetful guy sometimes. All the Mountain Dew I drink, it's uh, rotting my brain. Okay? You don't drink as much Mountain Dew anymore. No, not really. I think I had one the other day. <laughs> It was tasty. I'll admit it. I don't really like the taste of original Mountain Dew anymore. I think I just drank way too much of it. <laughs> I was uh, like 16. But I do have to admit, I, I, I used to drink so much Mountain Dew that I just felt dumber. <laughs> like, I felt stupid. <laughs> like, it just, I, I think it made my brain shrink. Probably. There's, I was, where, where was I? Was that like... I hope that Mountain Dew, the like Pepsi, isn't listening to us. They'll never sponsor us ever. If we're like in the future, like, hey, Pepsi, do you want to sponsor? No. No, we know what Ray said about Mountain Dew. <laughs> that what a sad video. We like, yeah, but I also said that I drank a lot of it, so it's <laughs> it's kind of neutral. You know, I'm not promoting or you know not promoting. It's kind of just like, hey, if you want to drink it, go ahead. If you don't want to, go ahead. I'm not. Come on, work with me here. I was like in a <laughs> store and like some lady was saying if you drink one can of pop a day you're gonna gain a hundred pounds in like a month or something like to, Dude, her, to her little six year old I've drank just to prove I'm not promoting one brand or another I've been drinking I've had like six cherry cokes today and you did not gain a hundred pounds <laughs> I, week. I did not gain a hundred pounds well, maybe I know you of. did but you lost a hundred pounds as well so I peed it all out <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, so I don't know, whatever. My teeth feel horrible, I'll give you that. I need to brush my teeth, something wicked. That's a bad habit, I don't brush my teeth very often. I brush my teeth quite frequently. I don't. Somebody post a comment on how I get myself to brush my teeth so that my teeth don't <laughs> fall out and I don't look like and I don't look like my mom in the future. Oh, Hi, Mom, me. if you're listening. Probably not, though. <laughs> yeah, probably not. I, I did ask my parents uh, while I went over there the other day, and I asked them if they knew what I did for a living. And I think my dad said I write about and design games <laughs> and I was wow. like no no dad that is that is not what I do for a living um, I think they were still under the impression that I was reviewing games as, as oh. some factor uh, so I was like nope don't do that either used to nope don't do that and so I pulled up our uh, Assassin's Creed video and I was like look this is what I do I make walkthroughs you now know what your son does for a living there you go I bet you if I ask them that when I go over there for the holidays, they're not going to remember. Sad. <laughs> Your parents know what you do for a living, They though, do. Even though they're all the way in Germany. They are. Not, Which I, I will be in where, Germany. Though. I'll be in Germany for uh, for the Christmas holiday or the winter holiday, That's whatever cool. you want to say that. They have so. Christmas in Germany. They do. They do. Um, so if any of you are German fans, which I know a lot of our videos get uh, blocked in Germany, so I don't know how many... <laughs> German fans we have, but maybe we'll have a meetup somewhere. Who knows? You know, I like that. Like, I went to Japan. You're going to Germany. Zach, Zach's going to Illinois. <laughs> like, this is kind of weird. Like, it, it's funny to think about. No offense if you're from Illinois. I mean, I've got friends down there. Go ahead, hit them up. The bears. The be what? The bears? There's no bears in Illinois. It's all city there. I'm sure, Chicago. there's a zoo. Is this a zoo? I'm sure they have bears somewhere in there. Oh, uh, we're not talking about this game at all. We're just no. on tangents. We're just like, look, Ezio's doing his thing. We're doing our thing. So let him do his thing, all right? So, uh, do we? I did not fall in the water. Congratulations. Thank you. Yay! I, I made it all throughout this thing on my first attempt. Didn't didn't mess up except for that one little swinging moment with at the, the with very the, beginning. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I. That didn't hinder me at all. I just and you found there, treasures. Corrected it. We found treasures. And a key. And now we've got a key to Altair's mind. We're gonna go, hey Altair, I'm inside your brain. Now what's up, bro? What, what's up, bro? Come at me, bro. Oh, snizap. That's oh, a God. word, right? Snizap. Sure. <laughs> I think it's a word. 
If someone tells me it's not a word, I'll believe them. But until then, I'm gonna say snizap is a word. It's like snap with the is. Now, in the can middle. you fall in the waters? I don't. I think I tried to, but I, you know, it cut away before I could land in the water. Uh, so we are ending this video now, do we? Are we? But before we do, it's still gonna be like good, another good 30 seconds or so. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna read the times. Uh, but we're gonna end this video with the buying of shops. Remember, I was talking about the banks and the. The tailors and the blacksmiths before. Uh huh. I can upgrade my stuff. I can get more money if I go to the banks and withdraw more money, which I can use to buy the things. If you're familiar with my Saints Row 3 walkthrough, you'll know that I'm always talking about getting more money so you can get more upgrades. Well, that's always the key to any game, is having a good economy really provides for it a much easier game. U.S. government could learn from this game. <laughs> I don't know. That it's probably way too simple. That's my advice to U.S. government: have a better economy, and things will go better for you. <laughs> Why don't they just do that? Yeah, I know. I Come know. on, just snap to it. Weird guy, sort of weird. That that Barack Obama, or however you pronounce his <laughs> name. I don't even know. I don't. I don't do the whole politics thing. Um. So is this you just running around? Yeah, buying I'm just. Different I'm just shops? buying different shops now. Uh, not really focusing on much else at the moment. Well, you want you want to make sure to buy all your shops. So you can make money. Exactly. The more shops you own, the more money you're going to make, the more money is going to fill your bank faster, the more times you go to the bank to get the money out so your bank doesn't become too full, all yeah, that money goes away. All of a sudden, you know, <laughs> the bank's running low on money and Constantinople's <laughs> having to you know, bail it out. And... <laughs> well, are we talking about the same thing? I'm confused. <laughs> uh, so again, oh, this, this the slide. eyeball guy. Yeah, he's, he's one of the Templar people. I gotta kill him so that my notoriety gets cut in half. And then this guy sees me and I just kill him and I say, I don't care about you. Sorry, so, bro. I'm gonna do the same thing with this guy because I'm gonna bribe him. So I will see you guys and Altair in the next video.